Use the nearest neighbor algorithm to find a Hamiltonian circuit beginning at L. So in using the nearest neighbor algorithm, what we're going to do is start at L and then go to the least cost edge. So from L, I can either go 14, 7, or 11. So because 7 is the shortest of the three, I'm going to go to M. Okay, so that's a 7. From M, I can either go to N or to P. So between the two, I got a 21 and a 4. So 4 is the least cost. I'm going to use that one. From P, I can go to N or L, but I actually can't go to L because then I would complete my circuit without having hit N, so that's not Hamiltonian. So I have to go to N. So I use 9. And then from N, I can either go to M or L, but I don't want to go to M because then I'll be using that vertex twice. So then I'll, at this point, I'll just close out my circuit and go back to L. So the Hamiltonian circuit is from L to M to P to N back to L with a cost of 7, 4, 9, and 14. So this one has a cost of 7 plus 4 plus 9 plus 14, which is 34. Okay, let's look at the exact same graph, but let's use the sorted edges algorithm. Now the sorted edges algorithm is going to have you order the edges first. So we're going to sort them out from least to greatest. So I'm just going to write them out. So the least one is a 4, and then we have a 7, a 9, 11, 14, and 21. So as we go through and select edges, we're going to be picking edges that don't do two things. The first thing is that we can't have more than two edges at a vertex. So no more than two edges at a vertex. So no more than two edges at a vertex. And the second thing is that we don't have any um, a premature circuit. So we don't want to have a circuit until we include all of the edges. So no circuit until I meant to say all the vertices, until all the vertices are used. Okay, so we're looking for those two conditions to be satisfied. So let's start with the first one. You'll always use the first one, because that would never cause a conflict. So we're going to use that one. So we're going to use four. You'll also use the second one, because that would never call the conflict, because you can't have more than two edges if you've only used two, and you're not going to make a circuit with only two edges. So we use that one. Okay, the 9, if I were to use 9, that connects N to P. At P, I would only have two edges, so that's fine, and I don't have a circuit yet, so that's good. Next one is 11. If I use 11, then I would cause three edges to be at P, which means that we would be visiting P twice, so we're not going to use that one. Okay, 14, we'll close out my circuit, and then we'd only have two edges at each vertex. Okay, so if you look at the one we just did with the nearest neighbor algorithm, we actually ended up with the same one. That's not always true. That won't always happen, but in this case, it did. So this cost would have been 34 as well.